Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster. Welcome to a bonus episode of Let's Replay Dragon Quest IV. Well, you've seen me do this before, uh, if you've watched my original Let's Play of this, but I thought I'd show it to you once again so you can see that this does actually work, this trick actually does work here in the Nintendo DS version of this game. So, we're in the casino and I'm going to show you how to maximize your profits uh, using an emulator. So, uh, I went and I go ahead and I went and I purchased a uh, hundred tokens. And again, you don't even need that many, but you should be fine. Now, here in the casino, there's a there's a couple different things you can do. Yeah, we can do the slot machines if you want. Shut up. The slot machines actually looks kind of cool in this. And you can play up to five tokens. And bad luck. So. Yeah, so there's how that works. So again, you can just do the slot machines if you want. I don't really like the slot machines, but you can do them if you want. Uh, the other one I'll show you here is the Monster Fighting Arena. Uh-huh. Woo! Let's see. Who are we going to take to win? Now, uh, now, the Bodkin Archer should win. Uh, and let's buy... I'll buy 40 tickets, sure. Let's see what happens. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's why the Bodkin Archer is such a, a favorite, because he's got buff on him. And the Bullfinches may attack each other. Yeah. There you go. And there you go. Yeah, and you win some tokens. Uh, no, that's good. No, I'm good. Yep, yeah, and so that's how the monster arena works. You basically just... It's kind of like horse racing in that you bet on the monster with the best odds. And, uh... Or you just bet on the monster, um... And, obviously, the weaker the monster, the better the odds and the more tokens you can win. But that's not what I'm where I'm going to make my money. Where I'm going to make my money is here at the poker table. Now! Show you how this works. Now, you hit, now in order to get this work, you need to have a basic understanding of poker hands. And I'm going to go ahead and put up the ten tokens here. Okay. Now, you need to be able to get two pairs here. So, now when you get this first hand, you can say, okay, that's not bad. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save a state on my emulator. Okay, so I've done that. Uh, and now I'm going to hold on to my pair and let's see what happens. Okay, that worked out quite well. So, now I, I've won 10 tokens. Now what you can do is basically you can see what the next cards are gonna be and then decide what your next hand is gonna be. So like I held on to the pair of fives, two queens were dealt and a seven. If I had hung on to the uh, two queens, or if I had held on to the fives, it wouldn't have mattered in this case. But basically you can see what, you, what you're gonna get and then you go from there. So I won 10 tokens, great. So now what I'm gonna do, now that I've won the tokens, is save a state. Yes, let's try it here. Okay, ooh, ace, that's bad. So the ace is the highest one you can get, so you have to pick a card that's higher, so that's basically gonna be impossible, so you lose. So what you do is you load the state, and I know, see, because if you do this, you know the next card's gonna be the ace. Yeah, so you load it, and you do not want to do that, since you can't win the next one, so let's say no. Very good. Now let's try this again. I'll put up to 10. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, hmm. Maybe? Nope. Okay. So then you can just load the state. Oops. So I'm going to load the state again. Uh, no. Okay, so that's going to be good. So I'll save a state here and try another hand of poker. And put our 10 tokens. Yeah, so everything is predetermined. Try hang on to my ace. So, uh, is there anything? A king five six. I don't think there's anything I can do to win there. And sometimes you're just not gonna win. Like it's just, it's just not gonna happen there. Okay. So you know what I'm gonna say is no, since I can't win that hand. Now let's see. I, I've got to check and see. I don't know if this. I don't know. Okay, so if you leave the if you leave the table, it is predetermined. So, 
Let's go ahead and save a state. We've got a pair here. No, it looks like a two is going to be there. So I can hang on to the two. And another two is dealt. There you go. Very good. All you need to do is win to trigger the double or nothing game. And this is, double or nothing is really where you start to make your money. Okay, Jack. I need to pick a card that's higher than the Jack. Is there anyone that's going to be there? Nope. So there's none that are going to be there. So you don't want to win and you, and you get your money back. So there you go. Save the state. I promise this does work. And maybe they've... Oh, is this the next hand? Oh, this must be the next hand. Uh, let's see if I get a flush. Oof, no. Pretty close, though. Sure. Uh, let's see. Let's try hanging on to the pair. Maybe we'll get three of a kind. Nope. So I can't win that one, so no, I do not want to win another hand of poker. And there you go. Okay, now I want to see if I can get this going here. So I think you see how this works here. Again, basically, you're just cheating this. You're just... Since, the, since it's predetermined, uh, it's not determined at the time of, of the flip. It's predetermined. You, uh, I think it, it, let's see, is it determined? It might be determined when you start the game. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's predetermined when to start the game, so. Let's try that. Just out of curiosity, what are my next cards going to be? Uh, okay. If I hang on to my ace, will this work? No. And sometimes you're just going to lose, so let's try again. Woo! Got some good possibilities here, so let's save a state on that one. What will be the next ones that come? Oh, Joker's Wild and a 10. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so the Joker's Wild, so what I can do is do this. Boom! Flush! Yeah, because the Joker's wild. And the game automatically knows to, uh, to, uh, to use the Joker to give you your best hand possible. So, okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, a four is pretty good. I think I can get a higher card than a four. Select it. Very good. And you want double or nothing. So now save your state. Yep, let's do it. Ooh, Jack, that's going to be, that's going to be tough. Let's see if the Jack would come up. Nope. Okay. So you can't win this next one. So what you want to do, because like, see if you do, the Jack will come up again. Right. So you say no. Uh, and then no, so, cause we, because we can't, we can't win there. So very good. And that's how that works. All right. So it's, let's see what we got here. Maybe you get predetermined hands. I don't know. Okay, let's see. What are your next cards going to be? Let me see. Eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. I got a nine in there. Is there a nine in there? Let me see. I thought I remember seeing a nine. What if I hang on to the jack and the nine? Does this give me the straight? No, it doesn't. Okay. So I can't win this hand, so I do not want to win another hand of poker. And there you go. Okay. So I'm going to do this for a little while until I can get rocking and rolling into my double or nothing sequence. Well, actually, we'll try it one more time. And you kind of get the idea of how this works. So then you can just keep doing this over and over and over again. Oops. So you can basically just do this over and over and over again. Um, you manipulate in the game with your emulator until you get as many tokens as you want. Now, sometimes you can get super lucky and just completely... Okay, let's see. Just hand to the ace. Okay, there's another, was there another jack? Hang on to the five. Yeah, I guess sometimes, sometimes you're just not going to win. You can deal yourself five new cards, too. Yeah, so it doesn't look like I can win that hand. I don't think you can get a flush even. No, okay, so. Yeah, so that's how this works, essentially. And again, in my experience here, the game is... Ooh. Got some good possibilities here. Ace or six is a straight. No. Try hold under the threes. Uh, if I hang on to the threes and the fours. No. 
So, okay. Let's try it again. Yeah, so, and again, this is how this works, essentially. Okay, so let's save it. I'll, I'll try and show you one more. Three of a kind. Three of a kind. That'll work. Okay, so now save the state. Let's do it. Oof. Jack, that could be tough. Oh, okay. So the, so the queen's over there. So that'll work. So let's go yes. So we know the jack's going to come up. And we know that the queen is over here. Very good. Now we save. Let's do that. Uh, that's going to be tough. Unless a joker comes up. Yeah, so that's so that's how that works. So, um, okay, so that's how the casino works. Uh, you can go through if you want and uh, just do that over and over and over again until eventually you can get the prizes that you want. Sometimes you get super lucky. I just got real unlucky with the double or nothings there. But basically, what you do is you save your state, try the double or nothing. If it's gonna work, increase your winnings. If it doesn't work, then you can just try it again. Uh, go back, and I'll, and I'll put a link in my video description to the original uh, casino cheating video, uh, so you can see how that works. And then, uh, But this works exactly the same, and that's how you cheat the casino. So, okay, I'm probably not going to take advantage of that from my LP. I made later in the game. We'll see how I'm feeling or where my characters are at at that point in the LP, but we'll go from there. So that's how you do that. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on cheating the casino, but until the next time we meet, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Uh, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash BCS Buster. Uh, check out all the ways that you can support me in the video channel uh, in the video description below. Um, some great apps there. Uh, using those promo codes, not only do you help yourself save money, but you help me as well. And until the next time we meet, take care, y'all. See you next time.